Welcome into our NFL Draft Player Spotlight. Locked on NFL Draft coverage is presented by Ultimate Football GM. If you think you can run an NFL franchise, visit ultimate-gm.com to play the ultimate NFL GM simulation game. Start your dynasty today. I'm Kanani Stevens in with Jimmy Stein from Locked on Bama because if we are talking about NFL prospects, you're the man I'm going to have to check in with. I'm sure we'll be here all night because there's a lot of players from Bama that are going to be expected to be drafted. Not uh, not to be outdone, Bryce Young, obviously, up for the number one pick. Whether he gets that or not, we will see. Um, where does he compare to C.J. Stroud, the people that are back and forth? Is it just a stylistic choice, or is, in your mind, Bryce Young clearly a cut above the rest? It's a size. I mean, it really is. I, I think if Bryce was a was a taller guy, a bigger guy, I, I don't think there would be any, any doubt at all in, in mm -hmm. terms of who would go number one based on uh, production, based on – his performance uh, at Alabama, C.J. Stroud's an excellent quarterback. There's no no question that's true. Mm -hmm. I just think that the knock on Bryce is the size. There's no other knock. Uh, but, you know, I think Peyton Manning the other night on, on an ESPN show put it really well. He said, you know, Bryce has played at this size his whole life. Uh, mm -hmm. He wasn't 6'4 and then woke up the other day, and now he's 5'10". He, mm -hmm. he, he's been this size his whole life and has managed to play extremely well. Uh, both at a, a power high school program like Modern Day in California and then at Alabama in the SEC, uh, he's managed. Uh, he's also going to be playing against the same size guys in the NFL, sure. roughly. Uh, and, and I think Bryce's performance in the SEC against SEC competition uh, mm -hmm. is, is the difference. I, I think Bryce will, will go number one to the, to the Panthers. Uh, could be wrong, could be number two to the Texans. But uh, I, I like Bryce go, going number one. Uh, but the difference between him and Stroud to me is 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 mostly size, mm -hmm. but partly Bryce's ability uh, as a ball distributor and athletically. I think CJ's really good in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Bryce is exceptional outside the pocket. And there's more and more top-notch athletes playing the quarterback position in the NFL, whether you're talking about Lamar, whether you're talking about Josh Allen or Mahomes. I think Bryce fits the profile of what's really working in the NFL right now, more so than Stroud does. In terms of the size, obviously everyone has something to say about that, but at, he's shown he can be successful at that position. Is there just some concern maybe, you know, when he's using his legs, some durability concerns there just because of that? Yeah, that's a great, great point. Uh, it, it's really not, hey, he's too small to see. I, I don't think right. it's that at all. The, the, again, he's playing in the SEC. He's not playing in the MAC or, or you know, uh, Division II football. He's playing mm -hmm. against the same size guys he's going to play yeah. against in the NFL. I think really it is a durability issue. It's not just that Bryce is short. He's also wiry. You mm -hmm. know, most quarterbacks that have been 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 taken high in the NFL draft, they've been 200-pound guys, 210-pound. Even Kyler Murray, well over 200 pounds. Uh, Bryce is, is wiry compared to those guys. Can he absorb the NFL hits and right. remain healthy? Uh, it's a legitimate, fair question. I'm sure it has been long discussed uh, by Carolina uh, and, and by Houston, picking, picking number two. You know, at Alabama, he did, uh, he did suffer one injury. It was pretty significant, kept him out of a game and a half. Uh, and affected his ability to practice the rest of that season. But that particular hit was, uh, you know, he, he was he was reaching out, trying to get out of bounds, and his arm was extended when he took a hit on his shoulder. I wouldn't mm -hmm. necessarily believe that's directly related to his size. Yeah. So he was quite durable at Alabama. As a matter of fact, some people don't realize this. They assume Alabama is just this monster, awesome team mm -hmm. and nothing ever goes wrong. Bryce was sacked 41 times in his Heisman Trophy season, 41. The Alabama offensive line was not good <laughs> in Bryce's sophomore season. He was hit a lot, and he missed no time. I, I think he's shown that he does have uh, the ability to pop back up. Took a huge hit in the Tennessee game this season, a huge hit. That would have drawn, I don't know, a million-dollar fine in the NFL. <laughs> and uh, he popped right back up uh, and played well that whole game up. I think Bryce is a tough kid. He's durable, but it is a fair question to ask whether a 190 pound quarterback can survive a 17 game schedule in the NFL. We haven't seen it too often. It's just the length of schedule. I feel like gets to him a lot too. So 
Um, in terms of, you know, when you go this high in the draft, you're picking someone that you want to be your franchise quarterback. You want to be the face of your franchise in terms of off the field stuff, in terms of personality, in terms of leadership. Do you feel like he has all of those things in place? I think that's where he hits a home run. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think that's where he, he's Alabama's had a lot of good quarterbacks recently, mm -hmm. starting with with that run of Jalen Hurts and then on to Tua Tunga Valoa and then to Mac Jones and now Bryce Young. I, I think Bryce is as good of a face of the franchise as you're going to get. Mm -hmm. uh, never been an ounce of trouble. Uh, he's popular on the team. I, I think this isn't talked about enough. Bryce Young was the very first self-made multi-millionaire college quarterback. It had never been done. Bryce was the first NIL multi-millionaire. And you would think that would generate a problem in the locker room where you have linemen and other players on the team not making really any money at all. Yeah. And here's the quarterback making millions. But in fact, if you polled uh, players in Alabama locker room, uh, Bryce was probably the most popular player on the team. Uh, he, he remained well-liked despite despite that, uh, and gets along great with his coaches, with the fans, with his fellow players. Uh, the, the prospects love him on the visits that they make. Uh, Bryce, it, as soon as I heard the Panthers were sending the entire front office to Tuscaloosa <laughs> and the ownership and the GM and everyone was meeting Bryce, one of the things I felt really confident about uh, for, for Bryce was his ability to connect with, with, with all of the people from all walks of life. Uh, he, he's, he, he's a really good kid and uh, he majored in psychology at Alabama. You don't see a lot of athletes majoring in psychology really at any school. And I think that's really helped uh, Bryce in terms of his ability to get along with people from all walks of life. It's very cool. Going in um, when you're a top pick, you don't always end up, we don't know if he'll be in Carolina or not, but sometimes you end up in on a not great team, right? And if the franchise is tough, he's coming from Alabama, he's coming from, you know, a lot of success there, a lot of success in high school. Is it, he obviously has the personality, feels like he has the mentality to be able to deal with that. But sometimes when it comes um, to actually doing it, it's a little bit different. Do you feel like he's built up to be able to deal with, you know, some of the concerns that come with, with being that top pick? Boy, that's a great question because, he, he's always won and he, he's always had great players around him and everything's been successful around him uh, at Alabama. It was a, a bit of a disastrous season because there were two walk-off losses and only a win over Kansas state, the big 12 champion in the sugar bowl. And that's sort of a disastrous season. Mm -hmm. uh, that's would not be a disastrous season in Carolina. Nope. <laughs> you know, there, uh, you know, just a winning record would be a big deal based on what's happened in the, in the past few seasons there. Uh, I think he would handle it well based on his, his background, the psychology major, uh, the, the very cheerful, optimistic self that he is. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I think the protection is a big deal at that level. Uh, he yeah. did endure 40 sacks at Alabama in a sophomore season. 40 sacks in the NFL would, uh, you know, would, 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 would kill an elephant, possibly. I mean, how, how is he going to survive that if, if that's yeah. the case? But. Right. I, I do think he has the, the the right mindset and the right mentality for he's a real bright, patient kid. And uh, I think uh, if the Panthers traded for that number one pick, not knowing who they were going to pick and they've settled on Bryce, it's because they've gotten to know his personality and know he can handle things like this. Very good. We'll have to wait until draft night to see, but of course, locked on Bama will have Everything you need to know about Bryce Young once he has a new NFL home. All this is a part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.